This man, Leander, asked, how can it be that I inspire and transform some people, but seem to threaten and repulse others? And so, as I said, I'd like to respond with a story. A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much immediately soil. Immediately they sprang up, for there was no depth of soil. And immediately they sprang up, for there was no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched. And since they had no root, they withered away. And since they had no root, they withered away. The thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell among thorns. And the thorns grew up and choked them. And the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Seeing this? Simon, this crowd. We are completely surrounded. There must be thousands. What I'm about to say is for Jews as much as Gentiles. So many cities are missing the need for repentance and righteousness. I've already preached and done miracles in multiple cities as have my followers, in multiple cities, and yet they I still fall people. short. So many of you are here listening to me, eager to be drawn closer to God, eager to find peace in your souls. And in doing so, you have more wisdom than most of the religious leaders who refuse to be humble. I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children. From the wise yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. And no one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. And I am revealing the Father to you now, Jew and Gentile. What is stirring in your hearts in the middle of such division and unrest is Father God being revealed to you. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Speaking of rest, we all need it now, including me. So wherever you want to lay your head, let's sleep, and I will continue in the morning. Shalom, shalom. Thank you, please, let Jesus rest. We'll be back in the morning. Night, Matthew. Judas, do you have the count? Yes. There's at least 1,000 to the south. There were still people arriving after the sun went down. 
Are Andrew and Philip back? No, but before it got dark, both points of the compass looked roughly equal in population. So 2,000? And counting. I said roughly, but yes. We should get going. We have a situation. What situation? The Gentiles. They're out of food. I don't think anyone expected the teaching to last all day. Well, no one has forced them to stay. Simon, they're hungry for his words. Yeah, and now they're hungry for food. It's not our problem. Can't they go back to their villages? They were driven out by violence. It's night time. They, they have to sleep in these fields. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get how bad things were when we first came. Whatever happened, it wouldn't change the facts of the situation. Well, I can see things are going just as well here as out there. What do you mean? Some of these people were driven from their home more than a week ago. They're hungry and tired. Don't trouble Simon with your news. His mind is anywhere but here. Andrew, be gracious with your brother. Gracious? He just said the people's hunger is not our problem and we should send them away? Did you really say that, Simon? It doesn't matter now. What matters is that we need to solve this without Simon's help. We can't. He's not the Messiah, John. Jesus is. No arguments there, but Jesus told me that... that the success of this trip depends on Simon. He said that? That's why I stayed behind. Jesus insisted that I stay back, wait for Simon, and bring him. Simon. Did he say how? No. If it all depends on you, what's the plan? Nothing. What? Jesus is capable of doing whatever he wants. In the end, that's what he'll do. Brother, you're being... He just wants to provide a solution for these hungry people. That's what's going to happen. I'm sure of it. You don't seem very happy to be sure of it. 